Today we're addressing a common suspension myth. Will coilovers make my car ride rough? The answer's coming up. So you've probably heard it out there somewhere, uh, read it online, heard it from your neighbor, something like that, that uh, going to coilovers will somehow make your car ride rougher. However, we're gonna talk today about how coilovers in and of themselves would not actually make your ride quality any worse. Um, there's, some, there's some key things here to make sure that we've sized them appropriately, selected the right parts, and, and have them set properly to make sure the ride quality is as you would like. And if you are struggling with some ride quality concerns, we're gonna give you some important considerations to make as well with your current setup. All right, so before we dig into coilovers, let's talk about the factors that can affect our ride quality. Yeah, there's a misconception that as you go from a divorced spring and shock setup that most factory setups have, going to a coilover automatically will make it ride rough. It's not the case. We still have a shock and a spring just like the divorced factory setup, and the fact that the spring rides on the shock doesn't make it function any different. So we've got to talk about the setup when you have a situation where it's riding rough. So what are the factors that can make the car ride rough then? So there's uh, three, three things to look at with the coilovers when they're riding rough. The first one is a big one and it is the shock length. Now, if you have a shock that is incorrect length and it only has an inch of downward travel, every time you hit a bump, that shock will bottom out. You're going to feel it and it's not gonna ride well. On the, op on the flip side of things, if the shock is near full extension, you hit a bump, the suspension rebounds, it goes to full extension, it's trying to pull the shock apart, it's going to ride very rough inside the cabin. So that's the first thing we wanna check. And each QA1 shock has a recommended length at ride height. So you can check the length of your shock versus the part number on the top of the shock to see if we're in range and have the correct shock length. So once we've assured we've got enough shock travel, what's another factor that can affect our ride quality? After the shock length is in check, we wanna look at the spring rate. Uh, the spring rate can get you if you have a spring rate that's too firm or a spring rate that's too soft, allowing possibly that shock to go to fully bottomed out. A good rule of thumb is that on a street vehicle, we wanna see the spring's free length compress 25 to 30% of the spring's free length. So for instance, if you have a 10 inch spring, 25% would be two and a half inches, 30% would be three inches. So whatever spring you have lengthwise, calculate what 25 to 30% of that spring's free length is, and that's how tall that spring should be with the car just sitting on the ground. So we've went over shock length, we went over spring rate. Once we've got those correct, uh, any other factors that we need to keep an eye on or check out if we've got some ride quality concerns? Yeah, if our shock length is in check, our spring rate looks correct. The next thing we wanna look at is the actual sh adjustments of the shock. Uh, some shocks will have a single adjustment, some will have two adjustments. Just make sure that the shock setting isn't too high because you could have the correct shock length, a good spring rate, everything should ride well. You crank this shock all the way up, you're gonna feel it. Sure. So double check the shock valving and uh, that would be the th number three thing to look at. So you've just, you've just addressed three great points that explain why a coilover in and of itself would not make the ride quality rough because all those factors you mentioned would make a car ride poorly, whether it's a coilover or a conventional shock and spring. So where does this myth come from that, uh, that automatically going to coilovers will somehow hurt my ride quality? Well, a lot of the factory setups are gonna be set up from the factory. They're designed to ride well with the correct shock length, correct spring rate. And when we do aftermarket coilover setups, there is a potential for the customer to choose a slightly incorrect shock length or maybe too firm of a spring rate, um, possibly getting a set of coilovers from a friend for a good deal, throwing them on a car. I mean, anything could happen. But outside of those three things that we talked about with the shock length, the spring rate, and then the valving adjustments, there is potentially one more thing that could be causing the, the rough ride, and that would be something outside of the suspension making contact with the car. Say the car's lowered down real good, uh, the rear axle, as it compresses, it's hitting the frame or something like that. Yep. So we wanna go under the car and make sure that there, nothing's making contact under there. 
Um, so outside of those three coilover related items, we'd also want to check that. And if all four of those things check out, you're good to go. All right, Steve, you covered a lot of great points today about why coilovers in and of themselves should not make your car ride any rougher. What would you say about that myth then? Yeah, I'd say that myth is busted. So we've covered a lot of great information here today. If you're still struggling with ride quality concerns on your car, call into our tech line, check out the resources we have available at qa1.net, and we look forward to hearing from you. And go drive it.